for 15 years now, the world's best race drivers have titled the world's worst race. The 3,000 mile course of the East African Safari in the countries of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Every American, every European, and every Asian driver has gone down to the pit. No non African has ever won the most famous East African Safari. My heart is elegant, flat, flat, fly, unfundamental. Something always brings it to that. The American nature is a very real question. Think about that. They want it. They just want it. What would happen to our country if we sent one to the entire East African Safari? <laughs> and subject it to the toughest field test any such has ever endured. That's what they decided, and that's what they did. The first truck to bear the new diamond rail name was stamped aboard an African prison in New York Harbor in late winter. But over there, they've got six weeks of rest to use and salt service. In March, African government docked in the old Indian Ocean port of Mombasa, 7,000 miles in the state. After a day of the usual red tape, the truck was released for diamond dinner to enter into the official trail for the East African Society International Auto Rally. As that infamous rally starts in my river, 300 miles in. Highway of 80 miles further, all the way to the swinging from here to the other. The trail to the coast was left behind. It was a mile high plateau where East Africa's biggest city was the coast. First was the East African Automobile Association, home of the rally organization. The entire rally operation was headed by H. J. Hunter, who didn't waste a minute confirming the course with Bill Tate and Joe Cuddy, official drivers, and Ronnie Hudson of Diamond Grill. The truck was to drive the entire rally route, officially checking out for the 91 cars ready to follow five days later. With the trailblazing truck from the intersection of the Hudson, the route would be changed for the good of the rally time. However, having serious doubts that the big American truck could make it, the route for the giant to go out the southern route first. The divine route was the front for more pocket tracks near Mount Kilimanjaro. The long out of turn out stadium just a few miles south of the river. From then on, friends, it was all booming. Simple looking trees were strong bushes. This one was too much needed to flash a driver down and be carelessly hung about the window. Three was going to be easy enough, but there was plenty of it. Very, very, very good. The vibration began. The vibration. Joe Petty took the diamond rail across the flatland toward the mighty Tiger Hill. He drove right by the remains of a zebra. And it's still. When the road straightened, Petty's opened up. He had 13 streets to work with. He let it down out of the first set. The water drivers knew this was at the back of their hands. But neither official driver assigned to the diamond rail ever drove this course before in any vehicle. 
Edwards was quoted, the record is a bit not clear. All of this meant the writing of this book was taken on pitch and times of course it's you. Lincoln sketches his son unlike any he's ever seen before. It was plain he enjoyed the work. But it was also plain that he gravely doubted his son's ability to master the vicious excitement country a few hundred miles ahead. Smith warned me that any established boss could tumble the truck thousands of feet below or get it stuck. And if that happened, the entire safari really would be black. He was warned the man who took the government from North Street to Zamba and north into the remotest regions they could ever see. Getting used to what the Africans call corrugation and what the Americans call vibrating hell. To this poor country and the strange hope of people still lay ahead, so did the dream. It was dangerous to set foot in the water.
stretched from the press out of the boat. Gibbons comes down with 600 miles down. They got a dumb on strength. Thank you. 